In this vlog, we will try to see the implementation of public, private, and protected variables and methods in a class and how we can access them outside the class. Let us try to see public way of declaration first. So this is quite common and you have seen in our previous tutorials as well. So now I am going to declare a class A here and inside which we are going to consider a variable A equal to phi. And now I am going to declare a method like display and here the display will have a print statement like hello world inside a class we have got a variable and a method so this is complete class now and now let's try to access these variables and methods so for which we are going to create an object for class a and now with the help of the object we are going to call the display method which is declared inside the class and here you can see we have got the output hello world and now when you try to access the variable you can just instead of display you need to specify a1.a a here and for which you need to provide a print statement because you cannot display the variable by calling it so you need to have a print statement and now we can have phi to be displayed onto our console so this is the way we access the public variables and methods declared inside our class and now let's try to see what is protected to declare a protected class you need to add a single underscore between the variable here and now let's try to run the same code again so the same statements we have declared an object for the class and we are trying to print the variable a so previously we got the output as phi and now let's try to run this and here you can see a object has no attribute a so you cannot directly access the protected variable which you have declared inside the class a and in the same way when you want to make a method to be protected you need to add a single underscore between the method and make sure you add it before the name of the method and not before the def keyword and now when you try to run the same here and when you try to call the display method here you can't even see the display method in our suggestions why because you cannot access it so how to access these protected variable and method so for which you need to create a class b and you need to inherit class a here so in our previous tutorial we have seen the concept of inheritance and i am providing the link in the description section below if you have not gone through the tutorial I suggest you to go through it and you can understand what is the concept of inheritance and now I'm going to create a method display again here and here we have got a self parameter and we have also discussed about the self parameter which you are seeing here in our previous tutorials so you go through the python playlist so now I'm going to specify a print statement here and with the help of self here I am going to access the protected variable a so here our a is declared as a protected variable inside the class a and now with the help of class b we are trying to display it so instead of a I am going to create an object for b here so now a1 dot display and now try to run this code and here you can see we have got five printed onto our console now so this is a way of accessing protected attributes which you have declared in class a and now let's try to see the private declaration so here you have added a single underscore and now you need to add a double underscore to make it a private and the same for the method also you need to add a double underscore here for the private and when you try to run this code now you cannot access the private variable even with the help of a class which is extending 
class our private variables or methods will help us to make use the concept of encapsulation in python programming so even directly when you try to access them you cannot access here you can see in the suggestions itself it is not specifying our variable and method now and when you try to remove this and here try to see here you can see we have got it showing up in our suggestion and to access this private variable here you need to make use of the display method and here you can specify self dot a here and now try to call the display method and in this way you can print the private variable with the help of a display method which is declared inside the class here so the private variable can be used within the class and not outside the class in our coming tutorial we will be discussing more about the private variable and method declaration with a concept of encapsulation this is how we can easily understand the concept of public private and protected in python and i also suggest you to go through our complete python tutorial so if you are a beginner it will be much helpful for you to get the concepts right from the basics so even if you are not having any prior knowledge on programming our tutorials help you to easily learn the python programming if you are having any queries in this particular tutorial do let me know in the comment section below and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on python